A former addict from Jeffersonville, Indiana, shared his sobriety story with us and says the biggest struggle for addicts right now is that most in-person recovery programs are closed due to COVID. Around 2017 is when I encountered meth. And meth really took me in a downward spiral really quick. Now two years sober, Michael Standiford admits to abusing drugs and alcohol for more than 30 years. The 46-year-old says he overdosed and wound up at UofL Hospital more times than he can count. Looking back, I was using drugs and alcohol to cope because I just had so many issues going on. Um, the, the strange events that happened when I was little, the, the resentments and stuff. And, and there was really no moderate stage. As soon as I discovered that drugs and alcohol could make me feel different, I just, I took off and I used it every chance I could get. He says a move to Florida, supportive family, and a spiritual awakening helped him get sober. But he worries about others like him, trying to maintain a life of sobriety during the pandemic. An ER doctor at UofL Health echoes that concern. People are under more stress. Um, people cannot get to medication-assisted treatment or like medications for opioid use disorder. And so they're using illicit drugs. And so we've seen a lot uh, of overdoses and then we work with the coroner's office to collect data and they have seen more overdose deaths uh, during this time period. Dr. Martin Hecker says many providers have moved online, but some aren't taking new patients via telehealth because it's too difficult to establish a relationship. Online is good, but it just doesn't, it's not the same as having, you know, personal interaction and, and being around other like-minded people that are going through the same thing. Uh, that's really the biggest struggle with addicts right now. Standiford recommends finding a church community or sober friends and ultimately changing your environment during this time.